All right, guys, I have a pretty epic unboxing here. Thanks to my buddy Jerry from the, uh, well, he does 3D print. I'll put a link to his Etsy store in the description. He has really cool watch-related 3D print items. Definitely give him a check. Um, and maybe let him know I sent you. But Jerry's a big-time supporter of the channel. If you guys are G-Shock fans, you know what the Mr. G means, what MRG means, right? Well, a Square fanboys have been calling for this for a long time. So this is a very special watch. Piano black case that it comes in. Let's open it up and see what we have. Kind of soft touch on the inside. Now Jerry went with the standard metal finish, not the ion or whatever coating it is. Not the black one. I forgot. It's been so long since I've handled a titanium uh, titanium square, and they, they are so light. It's going to make me want one again. Uh, man. I, I didn't buy one of the MRGs, and uh, I didn't ask, but I'm, I'm assuming Jerry's cool with me doing this. <laughs> this thing is... I legit can tell the difference, guys. Like, a lot of people are going to say, you know, can you tell the difference from the standard titaniums to the MRG? So, the answer is yes. It is subtle. But I just opened this. I'm just now looking at it. But I can easily see that it's multi-piece constructed. Like, there's some hand craftsmanship on this. And in case you don't know, the way G-Shock does some of their product lines, including the MRG series, there's actually a G-shaped production line in their facility that only the highest quality technicians that work on it, and it's all hand-assembled stuff. There's certain models that go through that line. The Casio Oceanus, I think, goes through that line. All the MRGs go through that line, and they really don't make that many MRGs. So they're not like really limited edition per se, most of them, um, but they just, actually don't make very many so inherently it is actually kind of limited so and I will do a full video on it extremely soon but the finishing on this is like it's off the charts and, the, and this is way different the case is way different for sure than the titanium ones I can see it I can feel it it's a very obvious it has a special case back. Yeah, this is insane. I, Jerry, I can't believe you actually bought it uh, because this is the biggest thing that a lot of people are going to gripe about is the price tag, and I don't even see it anywhere. Because the I think the black the black one is like four thousand. And this one's not that much cheaper. It's a little bit less. I forget what the price tag is on it, but it's a little bit less. They also, if I'm not mistaken, the way they did the finishing on this part, because it's like polished, a lot of people are worried about the scratching on it. I think they did something special on that. It's a different kind of metal uh, that they did for the bezel cap that should be more scratch resistant than a standard titanium as well. This thing is spectacular, guys. You know, and right, it's it's a lot of money, but holy cow. I mean, there is no other G-Shock Square that looks like this. That is killer. Absolutely killer. I want to see the black one. I'm not sure why Jerry bought this one. But it's spectacular. It really shows off the finishing and I don't know if the black one will show off the finishing like this one will. This one looks very premium to me. Uh, most MRGs will have this lock feature too. You, I don't know if you noticed that on the clasp. You still have the four micro adjust. Right? No, it's only got three on this one. But it has a lock feature, which means once you engage that, you cannot open the triggers. So you just flip that open and then it opens up. 
I'm excited. Full video soon, guys. Thanks for watching. I know I went way long on this, but the G-Shock Square fans are going to be excited to see this the video of this watch. So let me know in the comments down below if there's anything more in detail that you want to see on this, and I will try to adjust, address them in the video. Thanks for watching.